For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. I doubt that. You know your mother, and she made it clear there is no debate. This is no needless task. I ask you to take a great responsibility. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrion Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, Half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon.
There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. A blight wolf is what he is. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Now, please. Well, get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. On it. Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. As you wish.
There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. When there's a woman in your life, you'll understand. Bold words, little brother. I mean a real woman, not a turn in the straw. Fergus, language! You like to play in the stable too, Uncle? I like to hide in the hay. Don't you listen to this. If I catch you with your clothes full of straw again, I'll send you to Mother Malol. But Mama, she talks forever. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. 
Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Oh good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. We must fight our way to him. Your father needs us both. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. Right.
Be everywhere. The front gates. That's where your father must be. If Howe's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants entering the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then survive and visit vengeance upon him. Has fallen. I'm getting out of here. Y yes, my lord. Here, here they come.
Man the gate. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hal's men had gotten through. We are alive. What of you? Are you injured? Don't worry about me, your ladyship. Thank the Maker, you two are unharmed. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hal's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. You both are. I was. Right. Get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. He can't get away with this. The king Bryce, we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah. My boy. 
If only Will can make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Yes. Vengeance. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Hal's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My younger son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me, but I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship, but I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tirna and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you... Sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side to death and beyond. I'm just so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. News from the North has been unreliable. What's happened? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? 
As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Hao to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. We are all in danger, my friend. Nothing can be done until your brother returns, and that will not be until the battle is over. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to.